Or they must have so busted, you know. That you get 4 minus 1, which is 8 squared, and that's 3. Where are you trying to find the third? So H is the square. I put the new. Remember, this is our H. So H is the square. 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 Okay. We all the sides so we can look at it and find the trick. Wow. <laughs> the side. So what H2 and H3 the Sine of 60. Opposite. Sir. Move your beard out of you know you. Yeah, two 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 squares. Squares. Yeah. Four of them. Yeah. No, we write in every yeah. 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 Why two square equal eight? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a target five seconds to you. Yeah, last, sir. Right up. So, the sine of 60 opposite of an hypotenuse, the cos of 60 is adjacent of an hypotenuse, so that's 1 upon 2, and the tan of 60 is opposite upon adjacent, so that's root 3 upon 1, which is root 3. Now, for 30 degree now, this is 30 here, <coughs> that's 30, that's 30. So you can find any one of them. The sine of 30, opposite, which is 1, upon hypotenuse, which is 2. That's a half. Half. The cos of 30 adjacent, which is root 3, upon hypotenuse, root 3 upon 2. Notice, the sine of 60 equal to the cos of 30. The sine of 30 equal to the cos, cos of, of 60. 60. Anytime so there's a rule that says that we get one. the cos of 90 minus an angle, is equal to the sign of the angle. Mm. Sir, can I write 20. it down in a note? This is 20, then this is the sign of 70. The cost of 20 is the same as the sign of 70. Once both of them add up to 90 degrees. Mm. I heard. can use no one. Sir, that's DJ. You don't need their trap for DJ already. The cost of 10 equals the sign of a Cost of 10 equal to the sign of I mm -hmm. know that. Mm -hmm. Cost of 10 equal to the sine of? Yes. Sine of what? 20. Remember, when both angles add up to 90, 
Yo, bad man, move here now. This opposite upon adjacent. That's one upon root three. No, This here. Yeah, I find this funny too. Is what we call it is irrational. <laughs> so we will always <laughs> Generally, you do not write a root in a denominator or leave it like that. So what we have to do is to get rid of the root from the denominator. In order to get rid of the root, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by root 3. And that's what I did here. Root 3 times 1, root 3. Root 3 times root 3. That's root 9. And the root of 9 is, is three. 3. So root 3 upon 3. All right, so I'll learn the understand. You guys will cheat by some. You guys will cheat by some. You guys will cheat by some. Yeah, okay, I understand. You guys will cheat. 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 Now for 45, <laughs> it's a slightly different approach. Mm. When there are two angles in a triangle, it's 45, then the other must be 90. Why? Yes, sir. So, come on, send so tell her that, right? What can I try? I saw some signs. Sir, someone has said, I want to live on the triangle. <laughs> two sides are equal, two angles are equal. And if we call this one, call this one. Mm. Then we can find the hypotenuse using the same Pythagoras theorem, which states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the mm. other two sides. So, so one square, square plus is equal to one square plus one square. Yeah, and that gives up. us 1 plus 1, which is yeah, 2. two. So, uh, That's what c squared equals. So therefore, c is the square root of 2. Mm -hmm. So this sign here is equal to the square root of 2. And so we know all the sides of the triangle. Sir, mark our field. square root of 2, sir? You don't need to find it. You don't need to, we'll start off with without the use of a calculator. Uh, so you leave uh, it at the same time. Now, the application of the same time. 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 The The Upon I put in that's one upon you. I put in this is always opposite to the right hand. I slant part, yeah. Sir, sir, we are adjacent. Sir, we talk in this and it's adjacent. Sir, I don't think I'm confusing no man. Can't you know bother you know? 
telling me the root is the denominator. Say you didn't get rid of. How do I get rid of root two from the denominator? Root two. They multiply by root two. Right? So you multiply this by root two, but remember, in order to maintain this one, what you do to your denominator, you have to do to your numerator. So you multiply by root 2. So you say, what I'm doing? I'm multiplying by what? Root 2 over root 2. So root 2 times 1, that's root 2. Root 2 times root 2? Root 4. Four. Root of 4, which is 2. two. <coughs> What are that you do over here, sir? Sir, what are you doing over here, sir? A different thing you do over here, sir, no, sir. With the road tree, no. Tell me what's different. You follow me? No, sir. Okay. Camera, I follow. <laughs> Same nothing over here, is this? Then I hit me attack, sir. Yeah. Root tree times root tree, you say, a nine. But over there, sir. So why why am I going to fly by root tree? I don't know. Why go on? Tell me. No. So this is root 3. In order to get rid of it, you have to multiply it by itself. Well, you want to get rid of it. Yeah. You understand? Yes, sir. This is root 2, that's why we multiply it by root 2. Because <coughs> root 5, that would multiply it by root, root 5. five. Oh. You understand? Yes, sir. Okay. Root 3 of 1 1. Root 3 of 1 1. It's root 3 that we have. This is what we have in the Oh, that's okay. Alright. And similar thing right here. Cost of 45. Remember I said to you before. The cost of an angle is equal to the sine of another angle that complements it that is 90. Right? So 45 plus 45 is 90. So the sine of 45 is the same as the cost of 45. Uh, both of them add up to 90. 45 plus 45 is 90. So what we have here, 1 upon root 2 is the same as root, root 2, two. upon 2. Uh, yeah. So there are two ways to know this. Memorize it or go through the steps. See. Sir, so you can write any steps them in a word for word, we understand. We can study it then. You want to write? Ready to write? Yes, sir. Yeah. For the 30 and 60, draw an equilateral triangle. But that did they already, sir? Right now? No, sir. Draw an equilateral triangle. Sir, sir. Sir, sir. Sir, it's like a Spanish attack. Not a foe. And the next thing. Draw a perpendicular bisector going down to the base. <laughs> no, sir, I thought you yeah. mean like how oh, to work out the thing now. I thought you mean. I'm telling you what to write. So, you can have something like this. I like this. Yeah, sir. 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 Yeah, sir.